Hi and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to cover installing a GPS tracker. So in the past, we've actually installed a couple of these on some Airstream trailers that we've owned and they've worked out really great for us. And we've had a lot of people ask some questions about how to install. So let's jump into it. Okay, so first let's cover what I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna be using the Track 4 GPS Tracker. Now they make two different versions of this. Uh, they make a fully battery operated one which has to be charged. If you're using that one, then uh, you're gonna, it's the easiest one to install because you can just hide it someplace and secure it and then you just have to charge it every once in a while. The one I'm gonna be using is the 12 volt version which actually gets hardwired in so it all be charged. If for some reason the battery dies, there is a built-in battery backup also. So on this one, uh, you can use it on cars, trucks, you know, we're gonna use it on side-by-side -side here. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for this. Now, if we open this up, this is the device right here. Now, when you're setting up the online account, uh, you're gonna use this QR code here. Um, and it comes with some decent amount of wire. Now, my only complaint with this is I already stripped off some of this uh, wire here using some wire strippers. My only complaint is these wires right here are super thin. So you just have to be extremely careful when you are stripping off um, any excess. So if you need, because when it comes out of the box, it only comes about this much uh, play. So if you're gonna be using, in our case, uh, I'm gonna need a lot more to reach the positive and negative terminals of the battery. So in order to do that, I needed to strip off some of this. And again, be careful because the wire is really thin. Um, so that's why I'm gonna be using some heat shrink tubing just to secure this and make this a little bit thicker. Um, and so we'll walk, in, we'll walk through that right now. Okay, so now to determine where we're gonna secure this tracking device, let's go ahead and get access to the battery. So let's go ahead and get this removed. And let's store this out of the way. Okay, so now that I have the engine cover off, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this right here. Um, Cause I can actually access the back side of this, which means I could put a bolt through the front and then put a nut on the back to secure it in place. And then I can just run this wire right over here and be able to access both of the batteries. Now, if I wanted to, can always obviously hide this anywhere inside under the seats and run longer wires to this, but I wanna keep this really simple. Now that I know where I'm gonna hook up the GPS tracker, I'm gonna use these little terminals right here to be able to secure it to the battery. So, Placing it right over this terminal here, it's actually too small. So what I need to do is make this hole a little bit larger. Okay, so for the next step, in order to open up this terminal to the next size, I'm gonna use a high speed step drill. That way I can make sure it's centered on this device here and then just make it one size larger. Now, before we do so, make sure we're always using our proper eye protection and let's get this on. Perfect. Okay, so let's make sure we have this secured down. We'll test this here. All right. Good. All right, let's go test that and see if that works. Looks like it's still too small. I have to go one more. Perfect. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is since there is some hairline cuts that did end up in my thinner wire here. Um, I'm just gonna add some extra protection. So I'm gonna use some of this, uh, looks like one eighth inch uh, heat shrink tubing. So I'm just gonna place this, let's see here, place one on here and one here. And then just grab my heat gun here make sure these are all the way down as far down as possible there we go just to add some extra protection there okay so now we are ready to connect 
these eyelets here to the wire. Now, this wire is too thin because normally if this wire were thicker, you can just use a regular crimper to be able to uh, attach these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna solder these on here. Okay, now it's time to hook up the two terminals to the battery. And my battery happens to use two 12 millimeter wrenches in order to remove it. So let's move on to that. Okay, so now that's all wired up, let's go ahead and head inside and let's get the app set up so we can configure the GPS device. Okay, so now that we have the tracking device installed on our side-by-side, -side, we need to go ahead and set up our account. So we're gonna head over to track4, track-4.com. And again, I'll leave links down below. And we're gonna click sign in. Now this is where you will create your account. So you'll you know put in your email, uh, you'll put in your password, and you'll create an account. Now I already have an account, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. Now you're not gonna have anything here. This is one of our old devices. So we're gonna come down here on the left-hand side and click add track four. And then we're gonna take that key code that's on our device and we're gonna punch that in. And then we can give it a name if we want to. I can call it the uh, Yamaha Wolverine. And I'm going to click add. So now I have a couple different options on which account I want to choose. Now in the past, I've always used the annual premium. The reason I've used this one is because it includes 10 minutes updates while the vehicle is in motion. So every 10 minutes I get an update. Now with our Airstream trailers, this was perfect. Um, this ran $120 a year and it gave us enough check-ins that way we can always have an idea of where the trailer's at every 10 minute frequencies and you still get the daily check-in, so if it hasn't moved, it'll still give you an update. Now, if you need more than that, you can do the annual elite, which is one minute. Every one minute, you get an update, and then there's the annual platinum, which is every 30 seconds, you get an update. Now, for this side-by-side, -side, I'm probably just gonna get an update every hour. That'll be suffice for us, which only starts at $6.99 a month, as opposed to $9.99 a month. Now, what's nice is once you get this uh, started, you can always change it in the future. So I'm gonna start with the annual basic, and I'm gonna hit continue to payment. My credit card information is already paid in here, but this is where you would install your, uh, or you would input your credit card information. So let's hit continue. And yes, I'm gonna do the annual basic. Let's start subscription. Okay, now if you want, you can always put a picture of your device, uh, of your item in here. Um, you can add other users. You can get notifications through email, phone. Um, of course, I want the tri, meaning uh, the, the cell tri -later lateration is if you don't have cell phone service, let's say it's inside a metal shop, um, it'll use triangulation, which I think is good up to something like 15 mile radius or something, something similar to that. Um, there's our key code. It'll also provide us with the device temperature and the battery. Um, so that's all that right there. And then again, you can always remove it from the account later on too. So what's cool about this is if I click on geo zones, um, we can do account level geo zones, meaning if you want, let's say all your devices, if you have more than one or just the one, if you want to put in specific locations. So as an example, if I choose, let's say I used to have Airstream Los Angeles as a location. So if I click on that, Whenever we drop the, our trailer off at the Airstream Los Angeles dealership, I just created a zone here. That way, when we dropped it off, we knew it entered it. And if it ever moved outside of that zone, we would be notified instantly. Same thing if I choose this zone right here with, uh, I called it Airstream OC. And so if we ever dropped it off at the Airstream dealership in Orange County, again, I created a zone. And so that way, if the Airstream ever traveled outside of this zone, then we would get an update, let it miss know it moved. And then finally, one of our storage facilities, which was in Irvine. And as you can see, I created this zone, which went around uh, the facility. And you wanna give yourself a little bit of space. So, I mean, you can see I went across the street and a little bit further than where the trailers actually were. 
because sometimes it would ping outside. Um, otherwise, if you put it right up to the fence line. So you want to give, I don't know, maybe uh, 100 feet or 200 feet um, leeway around your device uh, or around your location. That way it gives some room for error so that we don't get false alerts. Um, and so now, if again, if I want to add a new geo zone to where I'm located today in Tennessee, I can always do that. And again, if you have it at your house or if there's a place that you're taking it or temporarily you can set up these different zones, you get the notifications. So let's take a look here. If I go to my devices, and so obviously our old Airstream is not recording anymore, so I'm gonna click on this one here. And let's see if it's showing where we're at. Uh, looks like it here. So I can zoom in. And it's working. It's showing us exactly uh, where our, our location's at. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified of videos I come out with in the future, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks and have a great day.